What's up YouTube? In this video I'm going to show you how to replace your chrome grill on your R53 Mini Cooper with this black gloss one. Should look a lot better when I'm done. If you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button and stick around. You're going to want to watch this whole video. No matter which Mini Cooper you drive, check out my Facebook group, Mini Cooper DIY. It's for everyone who works on their own Mini Cooper. And if you're watching this video, you work on your own Mini Cooper. So check it out. I'll leave a link to that in the description. Or you can just go to Facebook and type Mini Cooper DIY in the search bar and you can find it that way. Let's get to the video. Okay, we're going to start with this bottom one. And the way you remove it, it just has these little, these little clips. You're just going to pop them off. If you have a plastic trim tool use that but if you don't and you have a screwdriver and some rags you can use the rags it's still not going to be as good as a plastic trim tool but you can put the rag up like that and pry against it with your screwdriver being very careful Finding that once you get it started, it's actually pretty easy if you get the screwdriver from the top and pry it off. Then to get this piece off, what I do is I just take the screwdriver, put it in the end, and pry it out. Then once you get a good gap, you'll start to see where you can get to it right here on the top. And you can pry it out from the top. Again, make sure you're not damaging your bumper. This part also has some sort of uh, adhesive holding it, so that's what makes it a little bit harder to get off. Since I don't plan on reusing it, I'm just going to see what happens if I pull it up. Just pull on it. Comes off. Alright, now I'm going to go ahead and get this area cleaned up before I put the new one on. Okay, now you're just going to take the new piece and slide it in. As you can see, it looks 100 times better. Now let's get to the top. Okay, for the top part of the grill, I'm gonna use this body panel trim tool, and I'm gonna try to put it behind the nut that's threaded onto this plastic stud. The plastic stud has threads on it, but everything I've read and seen online says that these do not screw on or screw off. And I've actually tried screwing them off. In fact, I'll show you. Literally nothing happens. So some people say you can pry them off the screwdriver. Other people are, are saying that you can put pressure on them and they'll come off. I've tried that, nothing happened. The only thing one I've got to come off so far was this one and the stud, the plastic stud broke, which doesn't matter because I'm replacing it. The plastic stud is actually part of the grill. So when you get the new grill, it doesn't even have threads on it. So what you're going to try to do is pull these off without losing them, however you can get them off. I'm just putting a rag over it so if it pops off it doesn't go fly into my engine bay somewhere. Okay, so that one broke too. I don't know if you can see that on camera, but it's not really a nut. 
So I'm just gonna go ahead and go through and pop them all off. Some will break, some won't, but I'm gonna try to save as many of these clips as I can. Okay, so once you get the first couple out, you can actually pry this up a little bit. Use your, your uh, ratchet, it's gotta be a fast one, to lower this a little bit to where you can get your your uh, body tool behind it, your body panel tool behind it. And then you should be able to get it out the rest of the way by putting pressure on it with the body pull tool. So try not to drop it like I just did, but uh, the washer and the nut part are definitely separate. I'll put a link in the description where you can buy new ones of these so you don't have to worry about whether or not you lose them. Okay, so what I found is the absolute easiest way to get to these bolts, or these nuts, is if you go behind where the nut is and put your tool in there, and you can get some leverage prying right there, and then you can take it off with the ratchet. Now with all those out, this should just slide right off. Maybe not right off, but it comes off. So now I'm gonna go ahead and clean the front of this before I put the new one on. Okay, so now I'm just gonna take the new one, slide it into place. Okay, so when you get one side in, and you go to put the other side in, it pops the other side back out. So what you gotta do, is when you get the first one in, go ahead and put your little locking, put the washer on, get this on, uh, even though there's no threads on here, you're gonna turn this on there as, as tight as you can get it by hand, and then use your ratchet, put it on the rest of the way. Your electric ratchet, or air ratchet, whatever you have. <clears throat> and I'm just gonna go ahead and do that all the way through, working my way all the way to this side of the car. See, as you can see, it's just on there hand tight. So once you get all those in there, just go ahead and close your, your hood and you're done. Uh, I think it looks a hundred times better. I'll leave uh, links in the description to where you can get this grill and also to the screws in the back so you don't have to worry about, well, not the screws, but the nuts in the back so you don't have to worry about losing them. And if you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like this video, give it a thumbs down and I'll catch you in the next video. No matter which Mini Cooper you drive, check out my Facebook group, Mini Cooper DIY. It's for everyone who works on their own Mini Cooper. And if you're watching this video, you work on your own Mini Cooper.